Aya! Welcome! Records Roundup number 33 is off and running as of right now. Got quite a few things to show you. Not a massive variety, as there's, I think, four records from the same artist. But if you watch the last Records Roundup, I did mention that I was beeping up or doubling up a certain collection. Now then, still no Record Store Day pickups to show you yet. I'm still waiting for them, is the long story cut short, and it's not even that long a story really. I've ordered my Record Store Day releases from Banquet Records, a great record store, I think they're in London somewhere, who I've ordered online with on and off over the past year or so. I saw on Twitter that um, they'd been overwhelmed with all the Record Store Day stuff in store and online so all the online orders are taking a while to get sent out but um they did send an email this morning actually just to update with like the getting it ready for packaging and stuff so fingers crossed i will be able to show you my record store day pickups in the next records roundup but that's for then let's get on with right now and the first thing i'll show you is a new release another new release from Liebag. From Mute Bank, this is an EP, 12 inch single. This is Love Is Still Alive. So I've got Liebach's most recent studio album, Sketches of the Red Districts, in Records Roundup 32. That album, because it wasn't Mute release, it was available easiest from Liebach directly in Slovenia. But this one was a worldwide issue on Mute Records, so ordered this this was a pre-order on mute bank i think back like last october i think so it's been a while the cd of this i think has been out for some time with vinyl pressing delays this has um, come out a bit late but it's on limited edition pink colored vinyl and it's got eight versions of love is still alive from numbers one to eight with the subtitles such as moon euphoria mercury dopamine saturn insomnia etc etc and love is still alive was a track that apparently and i'm saying apparently because i've never seen it was featured on the sequel to iron sky the coming race a film that Liebach did the music for. They did the music for the original movie. I and mean, I've got that soundtrack album. There never was a soundtrack album that came out for The Coming Race. And that's a film that's quite a few years old now. It might say on screen when that was out. I do love the computer graphics of this, by the way. And hopefully I'll be playing you a clip as well of a pretty cool music video for one of the versions on here. Let's get this open because with it being pink vinyl, that's a colour I don't get very often. So I do want to see it. This arrived on release day. I've been holding on to it for a little while to be able to show you. So we have got a download code. You don't get as many of those in records now. Not that I'm bothered because I never use them anyway. There we go. Sort of like a, uh, oh, it's very light pink on camera at the moment, but I think certainly this side, it's a darker pink and it might look a little bit darker in editing or after editing. But that's Love is Still Alive. The versions of this I've heard so far are fantastic. This is such a great release from Liebach. But I think the majority on here I've yet to hear, so lots to get stuck into there. It's kind of like an album really, but it's classed as an EP and really it's just mixes different versions of the one track that was on a film from a few years ago. The film soundtrack never came out, but this has come out. I don't really get it, but it's lie back. I don't really get a lot of what they do, but that is on pink vinyl, Love Is Still Alive. My English is no heaven, my German's even worse, but I can drive the spaceship across the universe. And if there's any life on Mars, I haven't got the clue. The only thing I know for sure is I'm in love with you. Surfing through the galaxy with stardust in your hair. We lost the Earth forever and the moon is no more there. Love 
on to four releases, one single and three albums, their entire three albums actually, from an act who I'm doubling up on because they're part of my Rammstein collection. I am of course talking about Lindemann, the side project of Rammstein, you could say, with Till Lindemann, the Rammstein vocalist, and his collaborator who has since left the project, Peter Tatsgren, I can never say his name, but you'll see his name on screen no doubt at some point during this video. So the first thing to show you is a single from a Canadian seller on Discogs. This is Stare Auf, which I think means stand up. There's the two chats, I think. I think that's them anyway. Well, I don't recall Till Lindemann having that longer hair, but it could be in relation to the video. They're there on the front anyway. This was from their second album, second studio album, Frau und Mann. We'll get onto that in a little bit. And this was from Canada, and amazingly, this was a pretty good deal. This was cheaper than it was on UK eBay. Not much tax, and the postage from Canada was a really reasonable amount. And it didn't take long to get here either. They used some sort of expedited postal service, which was cheap and pretty quick, so I can't complain. So that is Stair Auf. I bought all their albums again. I've got all these on CDs. This first one, this was the expensive one. This was from a Discog seller on Austria. It is Skills in Pills, their debut album. As you can see, Gatefold Sleeve. Nice Last Supper parody in this. Yeah, this was about 80 something pound. I thought, I'll get it because all the ones on eBay were triple figures. There was other Discog sellers, but with taxes, they would have been nearly triple figures or even over the hundred pound mark. This was around 80 something, and that's obviously including postage from Austria and customs. This was the cheapest that I'd seen it, and I just thought, well, why not? It's gonna be a hole in the collection for whatever I need it, so I'm gonna get this. I've got it on CD, as I've said. The CD I've got is like a special, it's like a big box type thing. It kind of looks like a thin down shoe box. It's like classed as the limited edition. I think this has got a booklet in it. I will get it out for a little look, actually. Well, it's nice that I think there's something very similar to this, actually, in the CD box set that I've got. It's got a nice sort of notebook type of feel to it. I just suppose it's appropriate, really, given the text in it is meant to look like handwriting, but then there's some really nice Lindemann art in here. It's on black vinyl, very difficult to find for anything resembling a half decent price but i'm glad i've got it i think this is only one disc actually even though it's a gatefold sleeve yeah because the booklet goes in the first pocket of the gatefold and then the vinyl Let's quickly show you the inner there is in the second pocket but that is skills in pills we continue with Lindemann. This shouldn't be too long a video, really, because I don't really need to talk about each record too much when four of them are by the same artist. But this is their second and to date final studio album, FNM, or as it usually says on the spine, Frau und Mann. So this was what the Stair Auf single was from. This came out in 2019, I think. From Discogs again, UK record store this time. This one is a lot easier and cheaper to find. This was, I think, £25, £20 plus £5 postage from a record shop in South End on Sea, I think it was. And this one is a double album as well. It's out on 280 gram black vinyl records. I'll quickly show you one of them. There we go, well, that's disc one. This one might be played at 45 RPM, possibly. I've certainly got a couple of Rammstein ones that you play at that speed. And this one might be the same, I don't know, I'll need to check. They don't always say it on the sleeve, or if they do, I don't always spot it. I think this has got a booklet or some sort of insert in it as well. Let's try to put this disc back in safely. Yep, booklet here. Obviously this and Skills in Pills were both pre-owned, hence why I've just put them in my own gatefold protectors. Shout out to Richard McCook, that's his discovery of the year. <laughs> yeah, not as exciting a booklet as the one in Skills in Pills, but some nice photos in. And um, lyrics as well, and the usual credits, production details, etc. 
So there we are, F&M or Frau und Mann. It's confusing because on the front of these, and I've got the CD as well, which I think is a special edition again. It always says F&M, but on the spine of the album, be it the CD version or the vinyl version, it always says Frau und Mann. I'm glad to have that. So both studio albums in the collection. I have got one of the singles as well, again got this, I've actually got this on the CD and Blu-ray double set, but as I'm doubling up, I had to get it on vinyl eventually as well. So this is Live in Moscow, a performance that took place in Moscow, it's one of the final big concerts in Europe before the initial lockdown in 2020. This is on two disc, 180 gram heavyweight vinyl, this as you can see is new and sealed, I won't bother getting it open, there's no doubt going to be a nice booklet in there. I've heard all these albums and of course I've seen the Moscow concert on the Blu-ray that I've got. Yeah, it's very kind of 18 plus if you get my drift, but it's a really, really exciting show to watch and the music's great. Now Lindemann, maybe they're a bit too similar to Rammstein themselves in a lot of ways, but Till Lindemann is the singer in both, so he's going to have similar ideas for both it's not surprising, whereas Emigrate, who was the other Rammstein satellite act I've been collecting in lately, um, for me they've got more of a different sound to Rammstein really, overall. But there we go, that's all I can really say about Lindemann. Today, Live in Moscow completes the collection on vinyl, and I've now got all the albums on CD and vinyl as well. This one of course being also tripled up technically, as I've got it on Blu-ray too. Brown eyes, wet flesh, good size, so hot when it crawls. I burn for dicks and holes, lady boy. And finally, some mail came today, so I shall open it today. And this is a purchase of two albums from my favorite record store online in the UK. I keep hoping that one day someone who works there might discover this channel and see that I keep calling them my favorite online record shop. And then they might send me a discount code or a free gift or something. It's not gonna happen. But Juno Records is who I'm referring to. And you know what I've been buying a lot of from Juno recently. These were a good price, I think, including postage. The total price for this order was just over £40. Would have been around the £17 to £18 mark on the website and then another five or so in postage. So the first one that I've got out of the mailer, um, we have got an invoice there as well, which I don't need. But the first one is the greatest hits and remixes of Fun Fun another Italo disco release from ZYX Music over in Germany. I think this is an Italian act. Most of them, unsurprisingly, given it's Italo disco, are Italian, although one of them that I showed recently was actually a Dutch production duo, I think they were. I hadn't really heard of these, but when I saw it up on the site, I listened to a few of the tracks, or snippets of the tracks on the Juno Media Player, thought, yeah, that's great, I'm gonna get it. One thing I did learn about Fun Fun is that one of their early singers was Spania, who had a big hit in the UK and all across Europe in, I think it would have been 87, with Call Me. That was one of the few Italo slash high energy things that did really well in the UK, as well as in Europe. A lot of this stuff did well in Europe, but never really crossed over here to the United Kingdom. 
this will be on black vinyl only six tracks on but the extended versions in fact the final track on side b is actually mega mix which is a little bit of short changing really given it's going to be repetitive of a lot of what's already on the album i do enjoy the extended mixes for italo because i love a longer version of that sort of sound but really ultimately i'd have preferred the edits on here because they would have fitted more stuff on but i get what's available and this was available for a good price Fun Fun's Greatest Hits and Remixes. Finally, it's another Greatest Hits and Remixes, this one from a chap I'd never heard of, Fred Ventura. So he's Italian, his real name will be on screen there. A lot of these solo Italo acts just had stage names for whatever reason, four on side A, four on side B. Never heard anything from Fred Ventura like Fun Fun until I saw this on the site, then previewed a couple of the tracks. And I thought, yep, I'll get this as well. So that's pretty much all I can say about that. More Italo for the collection. I'm so enjoying collecting it, as you can probably tell at the moment. And while ever Juno, and I've got a couple in the last records roundup on eBay as well, so I may check there again eventually. But whatever Juno are finding more of these to put out, I'll no doubt be taking a punt on more, but we'll see. I've got quite a lot, so there's probably not an awful lot left in this ZYX series that I really need now, but there's probably plenty that Juno have maybe even had in stock that I don't know about. It's a voyage of discovery with Italo Disco and me at the moment, but that is Fred Ventura's greatest hits and remixes. So you fall down, never looking up was at the sky. Records Roundup 33. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I want to say special thanks as always to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see my Patreon link, my Facebook group link, a referral link for HMV where you can pick up vinyl records, DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, all your good stuff down in the description text box too and there's a referral for all important home insurance from my recommended home insurer, Urban Jungle. I'm gonna go now, but I need to listen to, as always, Lindemann. Not in any great rush to listen to all that because I've heard it all before. I've already got it all on CD, but the Italo stuff, I think is gonna get a listen pretty quickly. And Liveac's new EP, Love Is Still Alive. I do wanna check the rest of that out because of what I've heard on it so far is fantastic. I think that might end up being one of my favourite Lieback releases since The Sound of Music, which is an album by Lieback I've mentioned on the channel plenty of times, and it's one of my all-time favourite albums that is just brilliant. I do recommend that. I always recommend that every time I think about it and bring it up. But I'm going to go and listen to one of those now, and I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Records Roundup and Record Collecting video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!